In this video, I'm going to show you how to interact with a select list on a web page. I'm Alex, co-founder of Axiom. Let's dive in. So I'm going, to, I'm going to click create a new Axiom. I'm going to start from blank, add my interact with page interface step. If you're new to Axiom, this step contains all the sub steps that are used to interact and automate the browser. There are other videos available that show you how to use this step in more detail. So look at our YouTube channel or our website. In the meantime, I'm going to carry on. I'm going to grab the URL of the page behind me, which actually has a select list on it. It's just a bootstrap page. And that select list has three values, one, two, and three. I'm going to open Axiom again. And now I'm going to add the select list step. You can see it here in the list, or you could just search select and add the step. It's simple to set up. Click on the green button saying select field, S then select the select list you want to automate. Press complete. Now click into text, enter a value here that matches one of the values in the select list. I'm also going to add a weight just so I can see the change happen when we run the bot. And sometimes you need to give the bot enough time to implement the change before the next action is performed. I'm going to click save. Now we can run this in the cloud and see what happens. Okay, what I expect to happen is that page to open in the cloud. You'll see the select list interaction. There we are. It's set to two. The bot's done its job. Okay, next up. I want to show you how we can pass data into that select list. That's really useful for when you're looping through rows in a Google Sheet, for example, and you want to add a different value into that list for each row of the sheet. You can also pass data to the select list from um, webhooks, CSVs, and other sources like scraping. But I'm going to use a Google Sheet, and I'm going to do a read step, read data from Google Sheet, it's going to grab the URL from here. You can see I've got some examples already added on different rows, one, two, and three. Paste that URL inside the field, sheet one. Now just going to open and close it quickly and it's generated the preview, one, two, three. And I'm going to pass that data now into the select list by deleting the hard-coded value I put in. And if you see on step one, I can read that this yellow lozenge in the top right hand corner says Google Sheet data. That's the data I want to pass into the select list. I click insert data and there we can see Google Sheet data. I get the preview, click save and close. You'll also see the interact step has changed to indicate a loop is now set up. Now that bot should be ready to loop through and enter the different values. Let's take a look. There we can see one loop has been performed. We should see the bot go back to the start, read from, we'll go back to page, enter the next value, two, and it would loop again until all the rows are done in the sheet. I'm just going to stop the bot there. Lastly, I'm going to show you a fallback position. If the select list, and on occasion it doesn't work because there's a custom select list that has been especially coded for that website, you can always try using key press. So I'm just going to delete these steps. Now, I'm just going to close Axiom briefly and look at the page. So I could try and tab to see if I can highlight the drop down. That takes a little too long. So I'm going to do a, a click. Yeah, I can just click on it. So I'm going to add click element and select and press confirm. I've done that because the click element will essentially put the cursor and start into, into the select list and start interacting with it. Now I can activate the key press. 
So the key press is essentially recording your keystrokes. It's a good way to automate the browser. And I'm gonna, again, just go back and see if I can use the up and down key to traverse the select list, which I can. And the return key or enter key will probably select the value. So now I'm gonna record the key press. I'm gonna do two downs and one return or enter the Mac. And again, add a weight. Five seconds. And let's see if that's worked. So instead of the select list automating this interaction this time round, it, I'm doing it with a click and a key press, which is a good alternate to try. So you can see it's added the value. And it'll just loop and do it again. There we go. Excellent. I'm going to stop that button. Okay, so that's how to interact with the select list or a drop down menu. If you get stuck, please remember if you visit our website, axiom.ai, we have a support page. You can basically submit a form where you include the URL, perhaps a video explaining where you're stuck. We can then record a, UR, uh, record a video, send you a tutorial and help you get over that problem. Okay, thank you.